In this video, I'll show you how to organize your SVG icons on both macOS and Windows. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Adi Purdila, and today I want to show you an app called Icon Set. Uh, I've been using it for a while now, and with it, I can easily organize my uh, SVG icons and also sync my icon library across devices because icon set works on both macOS and Windows. It's really easy to work with uh, icon set. Let me show you how to import an icon set. I have downloaded um, one right here. It's called Hero Icons. It's one of my favorite icon sets. I usually have it right here in my list, but uh, for this video, I actually deleted it from uh, icon set and I downloaded it again. So inside, we're gonna find a bunch of files, but what we're interested in is the optimized folder, which contains a bunch of SVG files for uh, both an outline style and also a solid style. Now, one quick thing to note here, uh, icon set only works with SVG files. And I think that's a really good call because as a designer, you'll always want the best quality possible. So you'll always reach for, uh, for an SVG file. So then once you download the icons, you can go back to icon set and you can click on this little plus sign right here on the top and select new set. Uh, you can also group your uh, icons into, well, groups. And uh, you would use this option to create one of those. But uh, for this demo, we're gonna create a new set. We're gonna call this Hero Icons. And we're gonna browse for them. I'm gonna select the Optimized folder and hit Select. Next, I always choose to optimize and clean SVG files and also automatically create groups for subfolders. So this works beautifully because in uh, this example, we have two groups, outline and solid icons. So uh, the app will actually create uh, a subgroup for uh, these uh, two folders. So once everything is uh, done, hit create and import. This will uh, add those icons right here and you can also see them in the sidebar. You can collapse this or uh, rather expand it and see both the outline and the solid versions. Now the interface for uh, this app is uh, very straightforward. On the sidebar, you can find uh, all of your icon sets and groups. Here, uh, you can now choose to see all of the icons. Uh, you can also favorite certain icons and they're gonna show up here. And you can search for a specific icon at any point. And that's gonna give you all the results from all of the icon sets, if you have this selected. If you select a specific set, then it's gonna search within that set, like so. Here, uh, you can change the size of the icons in this uh, preview area. Usually I go for like 48, because I think it's uh, it's big enough to see exactly what icon I'm uh, looking for. And on the right side, you have a collapsible um, side panel that shows you information basically about that particular set. You can also rename the set here. You can uh, export it, more about that in, a, in just a little bit. Uh, you can add the description and you can see uh, the details like how many icons you have, when it was updated, file size, and so on and so forth. You can also add the uh, designer name here if you want. Uh, you can also access the uh, general app settings by clicking this icon. Uh, the app has a dark mode for uh, those of you who love uh, dark modes on apps. And here you can decide uh, if you wanna show the icon name or the icon grid, which just adds this, uh, this nice background around the icons. Now, what's really nice about this app is that um, you can, uh, for example, right-click on an icon. You can uh, copy it or hit Command-C 
or Control C if you're on uh, Windows, and then you can just uh, uh, jump into XD or Sketch or Figma, whatever it is uh, you're using for design, and you can uh, simply paste uh, that icon as a vector inside the app. And of course, you can you have access to all of its components here, and you can edit them and uh, you know give them colors and whatnot. It behaves like any other uh, other vector which is fantastic. Uh, you also have the option to copy uh, the SVG code directly, or uh, you can uh, get a base64 code and a few other options here as well. Uh, with uh, a certain icon, you can always copy or move to a different set using these options, or you can simply click and drag uh, that uh, icon anywhere in, uh, inside the app to, uh, to, movie, to <laughs> sorry, move it or copy it. Uh, you can also add it to favorites here, uh, or you can uh, show it in uh, in a finder window. Now, in this video's introduction, I told you that uh, the icon library will sync across devices. And that's actually really, really helpful because uh, me personally, I have uh, this Mac computer that I use at my office, but I also have a Windows computer uh, at home. And sometimes I work from home as well. so having access to all of my icons in the same app is very, very helpful. Uh, the way you can do that is you can uh, open up your general settings from here and under icon library, uh, you can actually give it a name and you can specify a location for it. In my case, I'm using Dropbox. So I do that from uh, my Mac and when I get home, of course I install the same app and I Click on switch, I select the uh, library that I saved in Dropbox, and um, then I'm ready to roll. All of my icons are right there, ready for me to use. And because I'm using uh, the same library in both apps, uh, any change that I make on this computer, for example, will be visible on my other computer or any other computer that uses uh, this library. IconSat also um, allows you to export an IconSat and share it with other people. So for example, if you're creating your own IconSat and you import it in here, uh, you have the option to just uh, select it, hit export set. That's gonna be saved as a .set file, which then you can uh, send to other people. You can put up for sale, for example, you can do whatever you want with it. Now, obviously, uh, the people you send it to uh, will uh, need this app, icon set, to be able to open the file, but uh, because this is a free app and it works on both macOS and Windows, I don't think that's uh, really a problem. Now, speaking of uh, installing the app, uh, people can download it from iconset.io two buttons, download for macOS or download for Windows. And this is a free app. Before I started using IconSet, I was using an app called IconJar, which is this one. Now, this is not a free app, but the reason I stopped using it was the fact that it uh, didn't have a Windows app. It's just for a macOS. So then I went ahead and uh, downloaded IconSet. Uh, but if you want an alternative, of course, you can have a look at IconJar as well. Uh, I don't know how much it costs actually. It is, yeah, 30 euros per uh, year or uh, 60 per lifetime. Uh, but actually, if you have setup on your Mac, uh, you can use it for free because it's included in, uh, in setup. But my personal recommendation would be IconSet. Uh, this is the one that I've been using. I know it's good, and that's why I'm uh, recommending it to you. All right, and uh, that's how I organize my icons. Uh, what about you? Let me know down in the comments, and uh, if you found this video helpful, then uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.